Hello! Welcome to News Vortex! BMC Defense is preparing to deliver the Altai tank which has been renewed and reached the mass production stage to the Turkish Armed Forces for tests on April 23. Developments in Turkey's defense industry are making waves in the world. The Altai tank project is also known as one of these forces. The Altai tank whose project was first prepared in March 2007 and on which work has been carried out until this time has started to bear fruit at the end of the last period. BMC Executive Board Member and Senior Executive Murat Yelsintas talked about the latest developments in the defense industry projects produced at the tank pallet factory in Arafai, Sakarya, including the Altai tank project. Speaking to TRT Haber, BMC CEO Yalcintas said the following regarding the delivery date. We will deliver the first new generation Altai tank to the Turkish Armed Forces on April 23, 2023. We have conducted very challenging tests. We have developed the platform with the data we obtained from the tests. Now we will give two new generation Altai to the Turkish Armed Forces. They will also conduct their own tests. Afterwards, if they say to us, you can start mass production, we will immediately start mass production, and we will start mass production of the new generation Altai tanks in Ankara as quickly as possible, using all the means at our disposal. We do not think that the tests at the TAF will take too long. In 2025, we will start producing the Altai with the Korean Power Group and immediately deliver it to the Turkish Armed Forces. We know that one of the most curious topics is the indigenous power pack to be integrated into to the Altai tank. The prototypes for the indigenous power pack have been completed. If there is no major setback, we will produce new Altai tanks with our indigenous power pack in 2026 and deliver them to the Turkish armed forces. As of this date, both the engine and transmission will appear on the Altai indigenously. Stating that the Turkish defense industry has recently been followed all over the world and that there are demands, Yelcintas shared the information that there is a very serious demand for the Altai tank from abroad. Speaking about exports, Yelcintas used the following expressions. We will deliver the majority of our production to the Turkish armed forces. However, we have the potential to export around 25 to 30 tanks annually. If the relevant institutions approve, there is no obstacle to exporting Altai tanks to friendly and allied countries. Armor-piercing rockets, the biggest threat to tanks, will not be able to penetrate the Altai. Altai, which will be equipped with a tank armor developed by a Selsun and produced with a different technology, will be the enemy's fearful dream in the field. Covered with an armor that has never been tried before and is kept secret, Altai surpasses its competitors in terms of robustness and security. Inside Altai's strong armor, there is an equally strong cannon. Equipped with a 120mm and 55 caliber cannon, Altai will have a very powerful cannon as its main weapon. Altai, which will have a very large capacity in terms of striking power capability, will be able to hit the target from at least 8 kilometers away. With the new technologies that Aselsen and Roketsen are working on, Altai's range is planned to be further increased. The Altai, which stands out with its size and equipment, is also lightweight. The Altai tank, in which both strong, robust, and lightweight materials will be used to facilitate mobility, will weigh 65 tons. <coughs> Altai, which will have high mobility thanks to its lightweight, has already managed to leave its competitors behind. 18 months later, the first Altai will roll off the line, and will be a highly efficient weapon in terms of both cost and quality. Altai, the new protector of Memetsik and the homeland, has reached half of its counterparts in terms of production cost, while in terms of quality, it has caught up with the German Leopard, known as the best in the world. With the production of the Altai, Turkey will declare its independence in this field as well. Altai, which is Turkey's national tank, is competing head-to-head -head with the German Leopard with its technical features and equipment, although it has not yet entered mass production. Altai, which is planned to reach a capacity of 750 units per year when it enters mass production, has also attracted the attention of world defense authorities. Here is how Altai and Leopard compare. ALTAY crew for main weapon 120 mm 55 caliber smoothbore engine power 1500 horsepower cost estimated 5.4 million dollar top speed 70 kilometers. Leopard 2 crew for main armament 120 mm smoothbore engine power 1500 horsepower cost 5.7 million dollars 2007 top speed 72 kilometers. So what do you think about this topic? Don't forget to leave your thoughts in the comments and like the video. Thank you for watching us and we wish you healthy and safe days. See you in the next video.